Alright, welcome back guys. We're gonna try to look for... We're gonna look for... Nikolai. To try to find our friend. But in the last episode, we grabbed a cup to get in here and there's a cat. Pet the cat. Mr. Samuel is an absolute psychopath. I'm not going near him. I've never seen customers walk out of here literally dropping blood. All they want to do is give him a pet. Pat. That is, this dude. This guy's pretty famous rock star. Lead guitarist in of the leading 70s. Rock band Club and Hoops. They did that song Court Chop Hurricane at a bit of plastic. Hmm. Excuse me. Hello. Can I ask you a few questions? Look, mate, I don't want I don't do interviews. Mr. Blackwood, I'm not a I'm not about your music. I'm merely being a friend lo friendly local. How refreshing. They hound you, they do press. They must be a drag. What can I do you for? Have you seen a bearded man around 30 years old with a brown with brown hair at the point any at any point today? Well, I haven't noticed everyone who has come in today, but from who I have seen, nobody fits that description. Why? He has gone missing, and I'm worried. He vanished from Thames foreshore, leaving behind nothing, but leaving behind something valuable to him. Does it sound good? I hope it hasn't gone nothing to do with a meteor shower. Me too. Sorry, I can't help you. I don't think he's seen Vincent's. Well, bye for now. There's no reason for me to keep talking to him because he has no idea. See you. Alright, this man. Like a beer man. Hello, how can I help you? Actually, I'm looking for my friend. Have you seen a bitter man 30-ish years old in the pub this morning? I don't think so. We were supposed to meet him here? No, no. He just down a bit. And disappeared act. Have you tried calling him? Yeah, he's not picking up. Hmm. I haven't seen the cheap this chap working here before. Perhaps Vincent's here and he just hasn't noticed. Actually, do you know if Nikolai is working today? She knows Vincent. Nicola, Nicola, Nikolai, Nicole, Nicole. I'm gonna call her Nicole. Screw it. Nicole working here. She knows if Vincent's here. Perhaps she has seen him here. Sure, man. Nicole is on her break at the morning moment, though. Any idea when she'll be back? It'll be a while. She went to buy some un-oriental cakes from the G scent. Gint. Delight. I'll wait a bit for her. Can I get you anything while you wait? No, not now. Just not now. Not just now. Cheers. No worries. Okay. I'm gonna talk to. I'm gonna talk to this guy. Hey there. Quiet type. Talk to this guy. Excuse me, may I have a word? Sorry, if you don't mind, I'd rather be busy. No problem. Alright, let's talk to him. He's the only guy we can actually talk to. Excuse me, Blackwood. Alright, mate. What do you know about the meteor incident? Not much. Just what I've read in the papers. A big exaggeration. I don't even know what that word means. I think. A big exaggeration. Oh. Why do you say that? Well, sure, it's unexplainable that all these people have been dragged into the Thames, and indeed tragic, but this is so-called tidal occurrence. But it all seems over now. But you, don't you know that the river water is unsafe? They are blocking it off with the whole Thames. 
Well, there's a woman in the back room over there, a very drunk woman who came bragging it, barging into the pub an hour ago, moaning something about the UKSAA, U A S A, wasting time and resources on treating people who had come in contact with the water. And you believe the rambling of a drunk woman? If there's anything I've learned out of all my years on the road with Plymouth, it's that a drunk is speaking from the very, very soul, the ultimate persons of the, of the God, of the thoughts is arrested and torn from your body and spoken into the air. Hmm. Drunk people never lie. I just hope the friend's okay. Have you heard of any of the title occurrences happening in Central London? Not of my knowledge. You should try to have a word with a drunk. She seems a bit bad now. That's what. That's. That's if you can get anything out of her. Oh my god, microphone, why are you falling? I'll try. I will try. Thanks for the tip. Got the pub. Isn't this a great pub? It is indeed. One of my favorite events in London. I have often seen Gus Blackwood lead his guitar up over here in the pub. I've always been nervous to talk to him. This guy's super famous. But today is forced expectation to the rule. He seems pretty down third chap, surprisingly. But there's one absolutely buffoon in this bar that driving me mad. Maybe he isn't such a nice guy. Who's that? There's some there is some bloody pillock downstairs playing the bloody piano every second of every minute. It's is driving me mad. I thought it sounds quite nice. You trying to hear that same song repeated for three hours? I can see how that might be great. Worst thing is he won't budge. I went down there, played the juice buck, and then he so much as told me to sling the my hook. A check of it. He says, "Don't you know who I am?" And I said, "No, mate. I don't know who you, who I am. I don't know who, who I am. No, who I am." But the results still, mate, and the B word. He's pounding those keys. Oh, dude. Who is he? Some plonker who thinks he's liberals. Anyways. If you don't mind, I'll take and get back to the pit. Thanks for your time, Mr. Blackwood. You're welcome. And you for the music, and thank you for the music. Cheers. I seem to have a reputation as some sort of grump. Will you shut up with that bloody piano? But I always appreciate my fans. Bye for now. See ya. Okay, let's, um... Go to the back room. Talk to this drunk lady. Vincent's not here. That's a creepy picture. Hello, lady. No. Drunk woman. This must be the drunk Blackwood that Blackwood was talking about, moaning about UK ASA. Hello. Ah, blah, blah, da, blah, 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 no, 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 This woman's very drunk. I'm gonna need her to sober up a bit. Do I have something I can give her? I think I'll sober up. <laughs> I'll sober up real fast with that. Oh. Oh. This might make it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at the main year real quick. Bar menu. The cock serves the standard 
collections of burgers, fish, and chips, and pies. Okay. Back to park. Alright, so... Okay, then downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs talk to this guy real quick. Vincent isn't in the pub. I just realized that in my rush to leave the shore, I don't actually have a clue where the quarantine area is. Could have been anywhere in London. Due to overlooking the lion, it's currently unavailable. Be sure I get tomorrow. Tomorrow? That was helpful. Perhaps someone in the pub will be able to find the find me the right place. Yes, I need to find out where the quarantine area is. That's my next best bet. Find Vincent. Let's talk to him. Excuse me, may I have a word? Hello there. How do you like my song? It's terrible. Please stop playing. I like it. It's nice. Well, thank you, kind sir. To thank you, the next time I play it, I shall dedicate it to you. Thanks. Talk about it. It has been. Have you seen my friend pass by? Thirty-ish beard, brown hair. Can't you see that I see all I see is music? Music. The swing. The sway. Oh, the keys. The keys to grow up. The man sings a bit. Late. Be gone. Must play. Talk about the pub. What do you think about the pub? Lovely. It's a lovely pub. Great for practicing my piano. But it's so called garbage upstairs, Rotaris upstairs called really annoys me. He comes down here throwing his celebrity coat in my face, wanting me to stop playing. I was born to be a star, no one can no one stops me playing. At that and that's is that. Well No no no. I will stop you there. Please leave my leave me in peace. Goodbye. I don't think it has much to say. It's great. You may struggle to play pool when the table doesn't have any pockets, so... I'll give it a miss. <laughs> the table doesn't have any pockets, what kind of crap is that? I don't have my debit card around me. Let's see if we can change the music on them, so I'd like... Oh, wait a second, do I have this card right here? Uh, Oscar. Oscar. Oh, yeah. That's a funny idea. Not as much to say, let's play it. Insert for the. Okay, I need to make money somehow, so how am I gonna do this? Back to the bar. Back to the bar. Hello there. Hello there. That's creepy. Oh, it's Nicole. Good morning, Nicole. Hey, Vincent. What can I do for you? About Vincent. Have you seen Vincent around here today? I can't say that I have, no. I was just about to ask you where he was. You two are always in here together. So he hasn't been here today. No? What's up? Well, it has been very surely morning, surreal morning. Basically, he's gone missing, and I haven't, and I've almost been taken into quarantine for some infection. And Vincent may or may not be drowned in the times. Oh my God! Have you called the emergency service? Couldn't get through. I bumped into a policeman earlier who basically said they're too busy to be worried until Vincent has been missing for three or four days. Well. He's only been missing for a couple hours. Does that really mean that he's actually missing? He might be panicking for nothing. I know, but I'm just have a bad feeling. He was just ahead of me, and I answered the for sure. He went ahead because I got a call from Laurie, and held back for a bit. Then when I went to the for sure, he was gone. The only path 
The only exit was the same way you enter. I didn't cross the paths with him at any point. It's very strange. I hope he's okay. I heard reports of people being swept away. So I'm like, did he confirm incidents? Holy crap. It's terrible. Can't believe that this man shrugged at me off like that. Maybe you should go into the station. I mean, Vincent could be drowned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going to rule out all the other options before I start to truly panic. Why don't you go around his, to his house? Oh, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, thanks. That's a great idea. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Vincent doesn't live too far away from here. I should definitely go and look for him at home. Even if it isn't there, maybe his flatmate might know something. I just can't believe a man would could drown. No one seems to be concerned. For the town, for the tone of the policeman, PC woman earlier today, I just had to go and find the policeman to waste my time. And it seems I have two options, Vince's flat and the quarantine area. He's not really worth. If he's not there, I really need to start panicking. What's. What really worries me is that we found a locket and a gold one on the beach a couple of days ago. Now we're excited about it, and today I found it just sitting there on the shore. Vincent would not just have dropped it or left it there. It could have been worth a fortune. I must say, I'm pretty worried about for him, but you should check his flat. Maybe he just dropped the locket. He could be fantastically frantically looking for it. Someone as we speak. That's true. I just have a bad feeling. Well, I will be sure to let you know if anything else happens. Alright, thanks. I appreciate it. Do you know what the UKSA ASA has a base, the quarantine area. I'm not sure, sorry. Meteor shower. Do you know any place but a meteor shower is in it? I know it has ravaged the times from here to the sea. I'm not sh It's so strange. How has it affected the tide so much? It's crazy. The material is made out of. must have extreme qualities, I guess. So. I was almost dragged in to the gra quarantine myself today. Really? Are you infected? So they said. I don't know, because I don't even touch the water. Hmm, well I hope you aren't sick, cause, and I hope you aren't contagious. Me too. How'd you get out of it? I convinced a policeman that I found a priceless meteorite, which I gave to him as a gift. Which he gladly took and ran off to sell it. Haha, uh -huh, you joker. So basically, you bribed a policeman with a fake meteorite. Basically. What a day. Tell me about it. I see there's some characters in the pub today. Ah, uh -huh, that's for sure. You got the old Gus over there, the man pardoned the paparazzi area, every corner. He doesn't seem too bad. If he keeps shouting at that man playing the piano down there, we may have to do something about it. And then there is drunk, the drunkard in the back. And this guy has been writing on his notebook all day, sitting half, half on a print. Any idea who he, that is? I think he might be an author or something. That's what he said. Brian said. Who's Brian? Oh, he's that barman who was here earlier. Oh, I see, an author, you say? Yeah, Brian said the man was babbling on about writing some sort of historic article, then found his paint. Hint. See you in a bit. Let me know if you need anything. Hmm. Arthur. Excuse me, may I have a word? Sorry if you don't mind, or rather, no problem. Okay, wait a second. Maybe he'll be interested. Exit. Hey, very well looking lucky. Look after it. 
ね。Will you be interested? Okay, so like, maybe he would like this. I don't think he'd be interested. Okay. Hmm. Good morning, Nicole. What can I do for you? Uh, alright, well, let's get out of here. It's pretty much night out. It's in here. Do this shit. Rubbish skip. To the map. Alright, let's go to Winston's house. Vince's place. Oh, crap. That's a big ma. Is that even a ma? What is that? It's a freaking big beetle. Alright, calm. Alright, just stay there. I'll deal with you in a little bit. Calm. Vincent Flat. Oh, he's moving again. Alright guys, well on that note, I'm gonna end this episode before this thing lands on me and I squeal like a girl. Guys, if you wanna see another episode, come back again tomorrow and I will have another one posted up. So guys, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.